Okay. Okay, recording is on. And let me go back to sharing my screen. Okay. Hi, everybody. So it's this is Jenkins GSOC 2022 office hours. And today is March 18th. Um, so we're going to start uh, with any questions, Ariane, it looks like you're the only one on the call with us today. So I figured we'll cover um, questions from you if you have any. And then if not, there I, I went through the Q&A um, on the GSOC, uh, Google GSOC site, and I thought there were questions here, highlighted here, that might be helpful to our um, participants as we are approaching the, um, the opening of the, the submission period, all right? So um, I'm gonna leave it here and um, let our participants, our GSOC participants open this up and, and let you guys ask us any questions or mainly Chris questions and we'll try to answer them. Um, if we don't know the answer, then um, Please go ahead and put your questions via a, in a comment via the comment option, and then after the call, um, I will chase it up with the appropriate um, project mentors and find out the answer for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let us know uh, what questions you have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I had a question which I already posted in the GitHub chat. But I think I'll just bring it up here because I don't have any other questions. Okay. But it was it was regarding that uh, Mark had mentioned that uh, the git prune command is uh, it can only be used in the context of the fetch operation. So I did some reading on that and I found that there there is a git fetch uh, that the prune command has a git fetch command and it also has a generic git prune command. And I've sent some links regarding that on the Gitter chat if you want to check that later and if you want to respond back to me later. But uh, that, that's what I wanted to ask that like, uh, when, where, like, did Mark mean that I should be using the generic git prune command and not the ones, and not the git fetch prune command? Okay. And is, and is that the one that is currently, is the git fetch prune command the one that is currently implemented over there? In, in the extensions. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that. So, um, so Mark isn't here on this call. So what I think, what I suggest that you do, because he he hops in and out um, throughout the week. He's he's on vacation, but he's still online sometimes. If you can just like you know post your question via at Mark Wait, and then clearly state your question on there, and then he'll he'll hop on and he'll answer for you. That's okay. That's fine. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Kristen. How's um, it going? Good. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. No problem. Um, any other questions? If there's no questions, if you can't think of any questions at the moment, um, just feel free whenever you know your questions, you have a question, just pop it in the Gitter channel and then one of us will um, respond to it. So, Okay, so if there's no other questions, and I thought maybe I, again, highlight some of the questions in the Q&A from the Google document that I thought might be helpful. Um, so with the applications um, being open soon, I thought that we're, there were some questions that might be helpful, like how does the proposal, what does the proposal look like? And I put the answer, the response from Google here. Um, should I send proposals directly to the mentoring organization? So the answer is absolutely not. Um, please make your submissions through the Google portal. 
Um, and if you send it to us, it's 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 going to be late. And the and and GSOC is pretty adamant about sticking with the um, schedule. So there is no lead way if you're late. So make sure that all submissions goes through um, the Google Summer of Code um, web app. Can I submit more than one proposal? Yes, but you you will be ex if you submit more than one and you get accepted, it will be just for one proposal, for one project, okay? What should I do to improve my chances of being selected as a GSOC contributor? Um, and the answer is here. Um, it's basically interacting with the, the, or, uh, the mentoring organization, um, submit your draft proposal for, to the organization for reviewed feedback, um, enhancement, um, and then make your submission to Google Summer of Code on time. And that's basically it. So last call for um, questions. Okay. So, so hello everyone, uh, can you hear yep. me? Yes, we can. Okay, great. So uh, actually, this is my first uh, office hours, I guess, uh, for Jenkins. So mm -hmm. I'm actually okay. happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so uh, I'm actually working on this uh, automation specification generator for uh, Jenkins REST API for like a couple of weeks now. So uh, I guess like it's this project were there until like since uh, 2019, I guess. So I have went through all the materials uh, and resources available for uh, this as like it's been existing for about like three years now. So uh, I saw some cop like uh, in the YouTube, like uh, after like you guys probably uploading this, uh, all these office hours to there. So I was when I went to YouTube and like uh, watch all these videos regarding to the automation specification generator. And so I saw some uh, uh, like potential uh, GSO participants as well, but I don't know whether like why they are like proposal has been re rejected and uh, i guess like i have been through their drafts like proposal drafts as well and i have found uh, like is it okay if i ask a specific questions about this uh, uh, project yes yeah okay sure mm -hmm. so uh, i actually like kind of like have a kind of idea like how to uh, proceed with this project and uh, mainly like i guess i have to write uh, some kind of a library for like uh, process the uh, annotations in inside Jenkins core and obviously in Jenkins plugins as well to like uh, transform uh, like actually like process the uh, get and uh, post API endpoints to some kind of a, a YAML fi files. Uh, if I can do that, I guess it's uh, pretty much easy for the next steps. I guess from that YAML file, I can actually uh, generate the uh, specification using Open API. So uh, my question question is like inside uh, Jenkins Go, I can actually process it and like uh, capture these annotations because there are like uh, proper annotations uh, are there like uh, you know uh, the uh, exported annotation and as well as like, exported beam and also in Jenkins Go like there are uh, get uh, at get annotations and post and like. Uh, for Jenkins core, obviously, like it's pretty much easy for me to capture this using a library. But the problem is, like for uh, you know, for Jenkins plugins, if like if I'm gonna write a new plugin, I can actually uh, like add at these uh, extension points, like these annotations for my plugin. But the case is like currently, I guess like there are over uh, one thousand eight hundred plugins over there, like if I am uh, suggesting to add a kind of a custom annotation for these. Uh, plugin so uh, that would be not possible I guess because uh, we, I have to like go through all these plugins and the plugin maintenance hands to uh, add these custom uh, annotations for every plugin so I guess that will not work so in that case uh, uh, will, will it be possible for you guys to suggest anything uh, for these plugins like uh, for generating API endpoints for these plugins, I guess I like I know that uh, these are kind of tasks for the participants. I mean uh, the contributors to find out. But uh, in the in like like right now, I guess I'm kind of stuck uh, on this uh, plugin situation because 
uh, I know like uh, it will be easier for me to capture the annotations for the Jenkins core, obviously, but uh, I'm kind of stuck at these uh, plugins, like how can we implement uh, that kind of a feature? So if you guys have any suggestions for this, uh, it would be really great for me to like uh, 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 straight uh, going forward. So Kristen or Chris, you wanna take a stab at this? Yeah, sure. I can, I can help a little bit here. So um, you're right. Like we, it is, it would be absolutely um, in, close to impossible to be able to go through and annotate 800 different plugins. That's so many, <laughs> which is a benefit of Jenkins that it has so much stuff, but it does make it incredibly hard in these cases. Um, what you're going to want to do is look to see what's already there. And I'd have to double check how to do this, but, and to see if I can find a good example of a plugin that does offer an API endpoint. Um, but you'd have, like, there's already, there are already pieces inside of Jenkins that a lot, like, have this type of annotation. So you wouldn't have to worry about scraping code. Um, you, I think you want to kind of maybe deploy um, the same type of methodology that's already used for generating the pipeline steps. And I think that was maybe detailed a little bit inside the project proposal. So I won't get too into that here. Um, but yeah, like it, there are some pieces, like Jenkins already has like some of this built in already. And I think it's making sure that we can start to leverage those particular kind of built in pieces. So you don't have to worry about going through and annotating a whole bunch of different plugins with a custom annotation that um, would also then require new people who want to use REST like or expose some REST functionality to then also remember to put the tag on, which if they don't have to in order to get it to work, they're probably not going to um, just because it's, you know, you're, you're not thinking about it. You're just like, oh, it works. And so like, I took an example from another place and made it happen. Uh, so you probably would not have to um, it would just be difficult to get them to like to force a new tag on other people. Also, um, I do want to also address the comment about uh, how it's been an idea for a really long period of time. So even though, like, so yes, there's a, like every year we get tons of amazing proposals. <laughs> and unfortunately, there's only so many different student projects that we can take. And sometimes, oh, actually, sometimes we can't pick everyone. <laughs> so unfortunately, sometimes this project gets maybe shunted a little to this late year just was kind of not chosen because like the proposals from other students were better or um, we had more mentor availability for certain other projects and that's like another key to success is like we want to set you up to, to be successful so we want to make sure that we're here for you and if maybe there were you know four mentors for another project that was just as good it's like that project may have be set up a little bit better for success than maybe like one person. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot of work for bo both students there. So yeah, like that, that sometimes that's what happens with projects. Like it's, the proposals are great, um, but it's just, unfortunately we can't pick them all, so. Yeah. We move this, does, does that help? Yeah, I understand. Like, okay. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Kristen. Ariane, do you have any other additional questions for, for, for our mentors? Uh, no, that, that's all I really had. But uh, I just wanted to uh, ask, request if uh, Chris could provide any, uh, any like suggestions on it, if, um, if it's possible right now, yeah. Oh, you mean, you mean the, the question you asked on uh, GitHub? Yeah. OK. I'm not. I'm not sure what Mark meant when he said like um, the print action, but um, it pro it's probably better I didn't wait until it comes back. Okay. Right. Yeah, thanks. He was being kind of vague. I have to admit. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, there's no other questions than. Um, Let's call it a day for, for this meeting. And then if you have other questions, just feel free to pop it in the Gitter channel. And just a really quick reminder that um, to get your proposal draft to the mentors uh, for review and feedback as soon as possible. It's, um, 
all of us, we have full-time jobs. So it's going to take us some time to review your drafts. So please get it out early so we can get as many eyeballs on it um, as possible so that you can make it on time for the Google um, uh, deadline. Okay. So if there's nothing else, then we'll see you guys on Gitter. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.